Okay, so I wanted to do a quick intro to this particular video. This is the third day, the last day of, well, yeah, the second to the last day, the end of the day, and then the third day of the um, AEA training I went to. Um, and we just finished up our wiring harness stuff on that day, but then there was some other things. So my wiring harness, you do get to bring it home, so that's very cool. Um, but there was some other things that we had access to that I wanted to share because they were pretty cool. And so just, it's a hodgepodge of stuff. Um, so just be prepared. It will kind of change a couple of times. Um, I'll talk about a few different things that are kind of not related at all. So that's what it is. But I think I have decided on what I'm going to do um, for my avionics. And it should look something like this. So G5, um, GDU, the 10 inch G3X. I might not purchase this one right away. I might save that for later. Um, the 650XI, the GTN 650XI, the um, autopilot control unit, and then a calm unit. Um, and that's pretty much what the panel will look like. Um, there will be an extra radio that's kind of hidden, so I will have two radios. Um, the AHARs and the magnetometer kind of go in the wings and in the back. Um, the pitot tube and the um, air temperature sensor thing, they go out on the wings. So not necessarily on the panel. Um, and then the panel will also have, I'm not sure where I'm going to put my breakers yet, but We'll figure that out when we start doing it. So have fun watching the videos. There's a couple just oddball things that are pretty interesting. So have fun. See you later. Talk to you later. Bye. There's a few planes in there, huh? Some nice ones. <laughs> Yep, just saw a bird. <laughs> yeah. Well, the rain will. The rain will clean it. Will help. Yeah. It's a very simple airplane. I feel that it's simple as I Mind if I get up in there? Sweet. Yeah, so this one I'm gonna replace it because it's a test that I made and yeah. it's uh, it's not flat, it's semi-gloss. Yeah. I don't know, I don't like it, but I'll do that sometime. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so it doesn't have an interior, only the carpet because the vibration was annoying. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's as simple as it can be. That's pretty awesome. You got some oxygen too. Yeah, and I built that, uh, it's like an overfloor toolbox. I just installed it like a few weeks ago. Oh, okay, back here? Yeah. So yeah. That, that's because I, when I travel and I like to, you know, I carry some tools and stuff. Yeah. And I had a milk crate. I didn't like it, so I built that. Okay. Very cool. This, Very nice. You know, it just has a, a what? A, a post -key 20. Oh, yeah. Very simple. Very, very simple. Let's see how much. The braking is done, so finally it, it doesn't consume oil, but man, it took a hundred hours. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Cool. And so all your fiberglass you painted uh, yeah, it's, chrome? Yeah, it's wrapped. It's just wrapped? Yeah. Nice. It needs to be redone because I did it myself learning and it's, I'm, I'll, I'm thinking of paying somebody to do it. Yeah. The wheel pants I had to paint because they, they didn't really work well. And the red is a wrap the too, red. isn't it? Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. Your static port. Yeah, that is awesome. Oh, so you have the fly LEDs? Yeah, I love it. I 
I made a yeah. mistake when I assembled them. That's why it says, yes, I know. This stuff should be on the back. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to look in here if that's okay. And you have a, uh, not a constant speed prop, yeah. just a regular one? Yeah. Because the money. Yeah. This prop was 2800 and the other prop is 15 pounds. Yeah. So, it's a huge difference. Well, and again, I wanted the simplest airplane I could get. Yeah. Uh, that was one of the things. But it cruises around the same speed that it would do. Uh, I can get, I normally do 140 knots through with seven gallons. Okay. Maybe more, maybe seven. Uh, and it tops at 155. Okay. So, and that prop doesn't weigh anything, so that's why I had to put the weight on the. Yeah. Because it was too light between the avionics and the. And the thing, so. Cool. So, yeah. That is awesome. Um, I really like it. Yeah. And then which one is his? That yeah, one? No, that one. The, the that little? One. Yeah. Okay. That is fast. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a lot more engine too, right? So yeah. Well, yeah, the engine's twice as big almost. I, I don't think, this is not a faster V compared to the other ones because they were, I built it by the rules, so I have an O320. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it flies up whenever it needs to fly. Uh, people that run 360s on them, they are faster, but they get too close to the VME. Yeah. And, you know, it's not a good thing. Are those all the countries you've flown to, or the countries you've been to? No, they're all states. They're what? Oh, states. They're all states. Okay. Yeah. You haven't been to Arizona yet. No, I haven't done anything to the west. Yeah. I've done... I've only been flying out of Dallas for like a year, so... Okay. You need me to help with that? 21 years as a jet engine mechanic. Well, my dad was a jet engine mechanic. Was he? No. Yeah. You like it? Not he didn't like it so much. He was in Vietnam. Not the greatest on the soldering right now. <laughs> Gotta learn. Nope. Okay, so George has some fun stuff that he got from T-Flight, so I'll have him demo that. Okay, uh, holders for the wire conduits and stuff going in through the wings. This is from... He 3D prints them along with the tool, makes it easy installation. Comes in, you find where you want it, release it, clamps down, drill one hole, clinko it, Squeeze it together, drill the second hole, your tr and run anything you need through the wings. Very cool. Okay, so I am back home after my training class at the, uh, um, what's it called, the AEA, uh, the Aircraft Electronics Association. Um, the training was in um, Missouri. Lee Summit, Missouri, and I did get my cool little certificate. So I have passed my avionics installation for experimental aircraft um, class. Um, it was a fantastic class. Just so you know, if you um, struggle like I do with the whole electronic stuff and you really struggle with like the $65,000 price tag that you'll get from like Stein Air and some of the other places, which, in all honesty, after messing with the little wires, probably not out of the question as far as cost for avionics, just FYI. Um, but you can do it slightly cheaper, not a whole bunch cheaper, but slightly cheaper um, if you wire it yourself. Um, and in the class, we did actually 
build wiring harness. Um, and we got to keep this. This is a, a bench testing harness. We know that works now because uh, we plugged it into the Garmin system at the class. And so now we have a nice little bench testing harness that we can uh, test our avionics out with. That's pretty cool. They gave us a ton of other stuff. Um, the wonderful experimental aviation solutions magazine. You can get this pretty much anytime you go to a, an air show. They have these things out there for experimental aircraft. Um, a whole bunch of little stickers. Um, G3X, you know, the G5, some stickers so you can kind of place them where you want on your, your uh, panel. And the one thing that they gave us that I was um, really glad about is they worked through this worksheet. Um, and they have these at air shows too, um, but they actually walked us through each of the steps on the last day, which was very, very nice. Um, and which ones, you know, you could pick out which ones you want, which ones you needed. Um, adding this all up, everything that I have highlighted in yellow, um, adding it all up, it's just over $40,000. Just over, like barely over, by like a couple hundred bucks. Um, and that includes like the uh, database bundles and stuff like that. So all of the stuff is in here. Um, and I'm guessing after watching Ryan Flies, he said he had about $7,000, maybe $8,000 in his equipment and wires and whatnot. So I'm looking at about Forty-seven to forty-eight thousand dollars in avionics. The nice thing about doing it yourself is you could do it a piece at a time. Um, so my plan is to order like the um, the servos that go in the wings, so I can finish those up. Uh, the like the ahars and the magnetometer, the things that kind of go in the back of the fuselage. I'll order those when I, you know, after I hook the. Um, fuselage to the empennage, I'll order the magnetometer and the AHARS unit, um, the temperature probe, um, the pitot tube I'll get to finish up the, the wings. And so I can kind of piecemeal um, all of the pieces and parts when I need them, which means that I don't have to come up with $47,000 this week to purchase stuff. I can come up with a couple of grand that'll get me three or four or five months down the road spend three or four thousand dollars more on the next piece that'll get me three or four months down the road and then wait until it's almost together to actually purchase the expensive things like the um, what is it the GTN 650 um, and then the G3X touch 10 inch guy um, all of those things which are shoot just between the um, GTN and the uh, G3X you're looking at you know shoot almost twenty thousand dollars just in those two units um, so I wouldn't need that until the very end when I'm actually going to put in the the actual stuff you see on the panel so that is kind of what I'm looking at doing um, I have got a couple of quotes from places and they're all very close they're all kind of right in the ballpark you know give or take a hundred dollars two hundred dollars three hundred dollars but they're all kind of right there um, and I, but I figure I can do it. I, I am rather confident after that class that I can actually wire my aircraft. Not good, not good enough, but good in that I trust it when I fly it. Um, that class was that good. So I'm, I'm very confident in doing that myself now. And so that was one of the main reasons why I took that class. So highly recommend it. I'll make sure there's a link here for you. Um, and you do keep, get to keep the book. They have this huge book of stuff um, as you're working through it um, that you get to keep and, and refresh your memory. If you're old like me, you need your memory refreshed every now and again because I forgot most of everything I learned. But anyways, um, that's it was a fantastic class. Um, Levi was the, the teacher, highly recommend him. He's with uh, Midwest Avionics. I think that's the name of it. I'll put his link in the, the description too. Um, fantastic guy, very knowledgeable, very willing to help, very 
very upfront about everything and what he can do and, and what you, you know, got to kind of do and where to get stuff and how to get stuff and all of that other good thing, all the good things. Um, so highly recommend going to the class, highly recommend talking to him. Um, he will charge you. <laughs> he was honest about that. So that's good, you know, um, but he does run an avionics shop. So if you have questions or need avionics, reach out to him. So, but that's pretty much it for the class. Um, now I just got to kind of get this stuff all organized and come up with a plan with what I want to buy first and how much wiring tools I need. So I'm sure you guys will see that video when it comes out. Talk to you later. Have fun. Bye. Okay, everybody. The last part of the class, um, they demoed this software. I mean, it was pretty cool. Um, just figured I would share it, pass it along. Um, it is a, a subscription-based software. You can use it for free, um, but you have to kind of draw everything yourself. Um, if you get the pro version, you could say, I want to put a G5 here, and it will pop up with all of the pins that you need and where, you know, kind of where everything goes. Um, but if you don't want to pay the, I think it's $25 a month subscription fee, you can do it for um, free, you just have to draw everything yourself. But it's pretty cool. Um, I'll show you just real quick, just some examples of stuff that you can do. So they do have some kind of just free things that you could download. Like if you wanted to, you know, see this, what this looks like. Um, it will, this is what the actual application looks like. You know, it will draw out all of this stuff, tell you where, what wires need to go where, what pins it is. Um, whether it's grounded, you know, your breakers, all of that stuff. Um, you could basically draw up professional looking wiring diagrams for your airplane um, with the software. Obviously, this, you know, pro version, uh, you know, it costs some money. But hey, if you, you pay for it for a month or two and you design your stuff and you have all of your designs done, nothing says you have to keep that um, subscription going. So. Um, that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to, um, create an account. I mean, you just, you could try it for free, obviously, right? You know, you just got to register or create an account, um, one way or the other, you can log in. Um, and they do have a goodly amount of, you know, diagrams. Once you have the pro version, all of this stuff is available to you. Um, it's not available in the free version, so just FYI. But I thought that was pretty cool, a um, little bit of software to help you wire your aircraft. So feel free to um, reach out to the Skywire Studio people. Um, let them know that uh, Slink Air pointed you in their direction. Um, I don't get anything for this, just FYI. Um, so I don't get paid by anybody including YouTube, because I don't have enough subscribers and enough watch hours. So if you guys are watching this video all the way to the end, I truly appreciate it because it will help me out. So as always, have fun, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.